Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's not even a point. Do you have an app? Is it a show? Does it have? Do you have an app? Can you say extra stuff? I say extra. We we put extra stuff. <laughs> extra yeah. stuff. And I am Kwesi Barko. And we are here to introduce Dr. Injakri Damage. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York, New York City. Yes, yes. New York City is so great that in a room full of Republicans, hmm. a New Yorker still emerged as the biggest comeback. Hmm. Are you not surprised? You know the guy I'm talking about? No. Oh, I'm talking about the former mayor of New York City. Rudy ah, Giuliani. Ah, yes. Ah. Rudy Giuliani. He became Scott Walker, the governor of Wisconsin, was there. Hmm. And yet, <laughs> Giuliani became the, the number one scumbag. Hmm. <laughs> we, you know what? Watch him. Watch him talk. What I'm saying is that in his, in his rhetoric, I very rarely hear him say the things that I used to hear Ronald Reagan say, the things I used to hear Bill Clinton say about how much he loves America. I do hear him criticize America much more often than other American presidents. The man, the man said that Obama didn't love America. Mm. Yeah? Obama did not love America. Can you believe that? A whole president of the United States. Mm. Okay. And you think that your president is the most insulted president in the world. Mm. I, I don't want to hear that anymore. Mm. These people are saying that their president did not love their country. Mm. I, I knew it. I knew it would happen. I even showed you the clip when he said what is pissing them off. Mm. Okay, you know what? You, know, you can't see this on Keeping It Real. Play that clip again. Play it again. And lest we get on our high horse and think this is unique to some other place, remember that during the Crusades and the Inquisition, people committed terrible deeds in the name of Christ. In our home country, slavery and Jim Crow all too often was justified in the name of Christ. You see? So Republicans came out one after the other to support Rudy. Mm. They said that they said that they, they were not sure that Obama loves America. Mm. Some even said that the America that Obama likes is not the America of their fathers. <laughs> Can you believe that? What? A whole president. Mm. Now, when some called Giuliani a racist, mm. he said no, he couldn't be a racist because Obama's mom was white. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, I thank God I wasn't in New York City when that man was mayor. Because I, I would have decked him. Game over. The whole thing became heated. Black people weighed in. Hmm. Like this one. Not believe that the president loves America. He doesn't love you and he doesn't love me. He doesn't love you. He doesn't love you. Ah. And this one. Giuliani says, Obama does not love America. And instead of apologizing, they say he doubled down, he tripled down. He said, I'm not taking this back. He didn't grow up like we grew up. How did you grow up, Giuliani? A privileged cracker? Oh. And this one. Eh. Now my yan should they say I be I bet God forget that thing. Why they talk that kind of thing on top of my matter? <laughs> Did you hear what Farrakhan called him? Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> anyway, um if Obama was soft hearted, mm. like this one, uh, mm. this president or this president, mm. he would have been crying, grumbling, and sulking. <laughs> but no, look at what Obama was doing at the height of the controversy. Mm. Watch. <laughs> He didn't touch him. He didn't touch him. Your president is grumbling. I'm the most criticized, the most insulted president. Nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. Did you guys watch the Oscars last Sunday? Yeah. It was off the hook. 
off the hook. Mm. The movie called Birdman defeated all the competitors wow. to win the best picture of the year. Yes, yes. That win yes. has very wide implications. Mm. It's not just on the surface you guys think it's just a movie. No. Mm. For those of you who do not know, Birdman is a story of a man who ran out of luck. Mm. <laughs> His luck <love> finished. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ah, finished. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm good luck. The movie, oh, huh? yeah, I'm not saying that. The movie tells a story of what happens to that man hmm. after the lock is gone. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Obviously, obviously, uh, I could see that this good luck Jonathan story has gone worldwide. Hmm. Yeah, it's very impressive if you think about it. The other movie in contention for Oscars was Whiplash. Hmm. <laughs> If you haven't seen it, make sure you see it quickly hmm. and, and go to the theater to see it. Wow. In the movie, Asari Dokubo was so angry <laughs> to see President Jonathan return to Tuoke <laughs> without winning a second time. The Lord of the Creeks. <laughs> that, that he descended on the president. <laughs> now, here is a clip from that movie. Hmm. Watch. The movie that was voted down by the Academy, you know, was a disappointment. Despite the high hopes that we had, was a movie called How to Train a Dragon, number two. <laughs> it starred Bola Tinubu as the trainer. Ooh. You know Bola Tinubu? Yeah, he was training mm. a dragon. Mm. Wow. Most Oscar voters said they were rooting for that movie mm. until the dragon went to London and spent almost a week there. <laughs> <laughs> when he came back, it changed the way he was speaking and the way he was moving. Mm. How everybody now? I they hail you. It be like say I want how you want. And now uh, one day I they take flight go Niger. Uh, the voters were confused, <laughs> but it's a good movie. Make sure you see it. Good, very good movie. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You are asking me what? What are you talking about? Why can't you get to Nigeria? Before we do that, let's do a promo. <laughs> you guys asked for it, and we have delivered. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it, okay, it wasn't me that delivered. It was Omar Abdullahi from Bayero University in Kano. Mm. He, yeah, he designed the Dr. Damages show app. Mm. Keeping it real, they don't have an app. <laughs> it's only available on and Android and Blackberry, mm. Mm. Good, the good, phone good. and tablets. So you go and download it. Mm. With this app, you can take Dr. Damages with you wherever you go. Wow. Yeah, we'll be putting extra stuff in the app. Hmm. So, so people who watch on TV, Sahara TV, we will miss some things. Hmm. Let's talk about Boko Haram. Hmm. The Nigerian army and their friends from Chad, Niger, and Cameroon are making progress fighting Boko Haram. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. There is a great chance that that Boko Haram issue will be over in weeks. Hmm. Maybe just before the election. Is that a promise? <laughs> Maybe just before the election. I know, I know. Why, why, are, people, why, are, you, why are people kind of looking at me like... It's great news. Yes. Yeah. Great news. Yes. Uh -huh. I want you to react like it's a great don't news. Don't do it in six yeah. years. I'm hearing that it, it was all calculated to secure re-election for Jonathan. Wow. Mm. Mm. One person told me that Ruben Abati, you know him. Yeah. Uh -huh. He has written a speech that the president will deliver the day they arrest Shekau. Yeah. In the speech, President Jonathan will simply say that. President Obama killed Osama bin Laden <laughs> and got re-elected. I killed Shekau. I demand re-election. Yeah, 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 yeah. at, at this point, people don't care who gets the credit. Mm. All they want is they want Northeast free from Boko Haram. Yes, yes. That's, that's what I think people Correct. want. Now, and now about the Chibok girls, uh, will they be rescued? Well, well, President Jonathan addressed that during the media chat. Watch. Of course, we will recover them alive. Well, oh. There is no plan to kill us. <laughs> How can you ask that question, my brother? Oh. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. He said, it, of course, of course, they will be recovered. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there is no plan to kill them. How did he know? <laughs> exactly. How did he know? Now, now. You, you heard it from the man. The man is saying that there is no plan to kill the girls. Hmm. They will be rescued. Did he say rescued or recovered? <laughs> <laughs> now, recently, President Jonathan has been going around talking to any newspaper, any TV station that will talk to him. Huh? And the others. Except, except for Sahara TV. <laughs> except for Sahara TV. Why not? Yeah, but <laughs> I don't know. But he's been talking to them. If you don't do anything else this week with your life, 
go and read the interview he had with the Nigerian Tribune. Mm. In it, he articulated the Jonathan doctrine. Mm. Do you know that he had a doctrine? No. Oh. It's different from the goat and the yam. <laughs> <laughs> He articulated the Jonathan's doctrine. This is one of the things he said in that interview. You abuse the president, and I smile. Mm. <laughs> in some countries, they deal with you. <laughs> now, now, that's a warning to all you people on social media. I right? see what you write. Yeah? All of you, all of you, 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 you. The president is telling you, you, especially you that calls him uh, the Jesus of Otoke. Okay? <laughs> he will deal with all of you. Uh, the other thing he could do is to appoint you, uh, give you an appointment. Okay. <laughs> the same way he gave Femi Fanica an appointment. You can abuse him and you get an appointment, or he will deal with you. Then he also, yeah, yeah. He also said that Obasanjo is still my godfather, Whoa. and I am, I am his first political son. Yeah. Then, then he added in low tone, he said, only that he talks like a motocar. <laughs> However, it was in the interview he had with Mo Abdu that the real Jonathan jumped out. Mm. Yeah. Watch him. I don't know if Jonathan is a fair person now. Somebody could be saying every day that Jonathan, uh, Jonathan is the darkest person on earth and darkest person on earth and darkest person. And everybody will see Jonathan as dark. <laughs> He said, say, Jonathan is dark, Jonathan is dark. I didn't know that he's worried about the color of his skin. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dark too, but I'm okay with that. I mean, but, but if you want to change your skin color, we can do bleaching. What's that name of that lady that does that? Uh, uh, we can buy, for Christmas, you guys can buy yeah. one for the present. <laughs> Watch him again as he talks about what will happen after the election. Watch. Election period. And I come back for the next four years. Mm -hmm. Most of these key sectors mm -hmm. where corruption issues are always mm -hmm. rampant. By the time know. we finish tying up, mm -hmm. the next person will take over from me. I don't think journalists will be harassing him about corruption. Okay, I hope you because don't think I'm harassing you, Mr. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, when I come back next year. <laughs> so, he, so he didn't get the memo. So he's planning to come he's back. He's planning to come back. <laughs> I thought we were going to March, March, what is that? March 28th? Yes. That's it. But he's talking about when he will come back. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe he wasn't consulted. He, he, he wasn't no. consulted. For those of you who think that the president is intimidated mm. when, he, when he meets big people, mm. like uh, Hillary Clinton and all these people, <laughs> watch. Uh, before, you, you used to think about them differently, mm -hmm. especially the big names and mm -hmm. the small names. Mm -hmm. And you now get in touch with them. You have the opportunity of knowing who are these human beings? Things. Are they angels? Mm -hmm. Are they magicians? Mm -hmm. Are they ordinary People. mortals? Mm -hmm. And you begin to see that all of us are ordinary yeah. mortals. I know, I know, I know. Oh, so this funny. this present is learning, you know. Meanwhile, Buhari had his own interviews too. Mm -hmm. As expected. Yeah. <laughs> did, did I say as expected? Oh, God. <laughs> Buhari continued to have problems remembering names of places and people. <laughs> Buhari had difficulties remembering the name of the political party that he's running on. <laughs> watch, watch. Professor Yemi Oshumbade. Mm -hmm. Watch. Is he a PhD? <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't remember that. Now, now, now. I'm, I'm going to help Grandpa out. <laughs> <laughs> I do have the same problems, remembering names too. Mm. Huh? Now, this is what I do. I make sure someone is holding a sign for me to read. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like this one, like this man, yeah. <laughs> holding the sign for me. Otherwise, I won't remember where I am and what I'm doing. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's do this without, without the sign, without the sign, you see? The last time there was no sign, this is what happened. Mm. What's up, people? <laughs> What's up, my people? This your girl, your girl and you're <laughs> keeping it real in here. <laughs> oh, ah. oh, you see, you see, that's what happens. When there is no sign for me, I, I get confused. Anyway, so where is Buhari? Have, do we know where Buhari is now? For a brief moment last week, Buhari disappeared. Mm. The search for him started immediately. He didn't have his name tag. <laughs> his family and friends all relocated to London. Mm. Even the ruling PDP moved in to mm. join in the search. Mm. It did not take time before pictures started to emerge. Mm. There was one where he took the one he took with Tony Blair, the former Prime Minister of Britain. Yeah. <laughs> People started expressing doubts, you know. 
They said, why are you, and we know you are a former head of state, why are you taking pictures with only former, former <laughs> prime ministers? What about the person in power now? We, we want to be sure that you are there. You know, people were suspicious. Mm. Even Tony Blair came out and said, oh, I met with Buhari on Saturday. Mm. And people were like, ah, Tony Blair, have you joined PDP or uh, APC? I <laughs> Shame on hey. you. And then Sahara Reporters published a video of Buhari joking with Bola yeah, Tinubu. Like, oh, yeah, they did. I don't know how they got it. Watch. I, I'm super friendly. <laughs> She's he's doing fine. Good. He's in his village. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've never seen a man who loves his village so much. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. There, there, there is this one what joke in London, that, in London. yeah, there was this joke that did, they didn't capture in that video. This is what happened in that joke. Buhari said, knock, knock. Who's there? And Tinubu said, who is there? And Buhari said, EFCC. <laughs> <laughs> Tinubu almost choked on his saliva. <laughs> So finally on Thursday, Buhari remarched. Mm. He, he looked different. Hey. And he spoke at Chatham House. Mm. Listen to him. I take responsibility for whatever happened under my watch. <clears throat> I cannot change the past, but I can change the present and the future. Wow. wow. I know he could speak that way, you know? Mm. This is the same place that the National Security Advisor, Sambo Dasuki, mm. announced that the election will be postponed. Yes. Mm. So what did Buhari say? Did you guys watch him? <laughs> I know you were not allowed in, but, mm. but according to APC reporters, uh -huh, Buhari read the first draft of his inaugural address. Mm. Yeah. Watch a little bit of that speech. Before you, so before you is a former military ruler and a combated democrat. Wow. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. wow! Yeah, there were a group of Nigerians outside who were protesting mm. Buhari's presence there. Mm. A reporter asked them, why were you there? Why, mm. what is going on? What's going on? Here is their answer. The if you like, say you're going to talk when this Jonathan will explain money now. Yesterday, it was all over the internet. Money. It was all over the internet that they, they, they were going to spend $20,000. Why are you going to spend the kind of money you spend? I know, I know. Someone got paid wow. to come and protest. Yeah, they were paid. That, that brings us to the new segment that we call Mad Men and Specialists. Collecting mad men and specialists. Mm. Uh -huh. Talking about mad men, I had that Femi Fanikayo then. <laughs> he has gone mad again. <laughs> he went mad on national TV. Wow. Watch. I don't believe that I'm on the same intellectual or social plane or level as somebody I wrote to me, Amechi. Um, if he ever went to school, I don't know which school he went to, I do not see that he has any kind of intellectual substance. Socially, I knew him when he was wearing the same clothes every day for three months in 19, I think 89, when I was national youth leader of the NNC. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. That is, this, is why, this is why we said, doctors, we always say that you can't stop your medication without a doctor's order. Of course not. Mm. Even if it's crack or cocaine, you, you need a doctor's order. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to deal with the withdrawal syndrome. <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a big deal. <laughs> Talking about other mad men and specialists, mm. Governor Ayo Fayose, who has been, uh, he has taken sabbatical from governing the Kitty State. <laughs> this week, he said that Buhari was receiving treatment in the UK. Mm. I almost believed him because nobody I knew in London had seen Buhari on the street of London. Mm. Nobody. We just see pictures of him uh, somewhere, but all my people, they didn't see him. Mm. But I started doubting Fayose's story when he said, that doctors in London administered APC to Buhari. Hmm. <laughs> now, being a doctor in good standing, I know that APC has been discontinued. We don't give, we don't prescribe that anymore. But, but you know APC. APC is a medication. Painkiller. Painkiller. We don't give it anymore. It's old. Yeah. Anyway, also Fayoshe hired foreign spies. Hmm to follow Buhari in London. Mm. I said, no problem. Why are people worried, eh? Hey! As long as the report is going to go to Jonathan, mm. 
<laughs> we're not going to hear about it anymore. <laughs> it will join all the other reports, like the NNPC audit report, mm. which is somewhere in Asso Rock uh, garage collecting dust. <laughs> yeah. Now, in economic news, reports say that Naira has once again been devalued. Mm. You now need over 200 Naira to get $1. Hmm. What? Yeah. Wow. I heard that you're building a house in, in Nigeria. Wow. So now you're, 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 you're a happy man. You're a happy man. <laughs> now, I tell you, I tell you, by the time this man is done with Nigeria, hmm. Nigerians and Nigeria will be devalued. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's what will happen. A zoologist was traveling with a lion, a goat, and a bag of yam. On getting to a river, it's called Otoke River. <laughs> he discovered that he could not cross the river carrying the three items at once. Hmm. He must carry one item at a go. Hmm. Something about the law of the river and Otoke ancient tradition. <laughs> <laughs> now, the question is, how will he cross the river so that at the end, he will retain all the three items? Hmm. Now, we are giving... Fifty-seven dollars. Hmm. Fifty-seven dollars. Yes, Why? Yes, yes. Why? To, you know, f oh, because because that's the age of the president. <laughs> Fifty-seven dollars to someone who will get the whole scenario right. Correct. Yeah. If you get it correct, we we'll give you fifty-seven dollars. Wow. And the deadline for the entry is March eleventh, midnight, New hmm. York time. Hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. If there are more than one correct answer, we will do we'll have a draft. Hmm. I will get to me to just to pick one. <laughs> yeah. So good luck to you guys. <laughs> did I did I say good luck? <laughs> did I say good luck? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. This is a segment we call Secrets of Picture. This is a segment we call Secrets of Picture. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand words. Okay. Now, the picture you're looking at is a picture of a Boko Haram member dressed up like a woman to escape arrest. Now, mm. lie. Oh, yeah. People, hey. people are saying that it's not true, that at least he will remember to shave. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's important to look at that picture very well because you know uh, George, Bode George. Uh -huh. He mm. said he's going to leave Nigeria when Buhari uh, wins. Sure. So, Bode George. Of for your, for your information, remember to shave when you <laughs> dress like well, a woman. Well, well. Otherwise, you, the same thing will happen yeah, to you. you. <laughs> Here are some stories making headline news across Nigeria this week. Josephine Abu, hmm. a Lagos airport cleaner, returned 12 million to owner. Hmm. And all these Ghanaians uh, say they say that Nigerians that? are not so, honest. So, so morality has yeah. started. This is honesty. Morality is coming back. Yeah. And, and, and she proved, with this move, she proved for, for Jonathan that there's a difference between stealing and corruption. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. Hey. Ooh, yeah. You don't need to talk about goat and the yam. She just showed it in, in, in deed. Caught orders EFCC to release Femi Fanny Kayode's passport. Mm. I said, this is a smart move. This is a smart move. Oh, the, 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 man, the man is smart. After all, May 28 is around the corner. Mm. And, and he needs to take off. <laughs> He's preparing to take off. <laughs> he may change it to a woman or whatever. Whatever is needed, but you need a passport. You need a passport. Aha. <laughs> Fashola, Jonathan distributed dollars to Lagosians. Mm. Now, what tell Fatula, what tells you want him to distribute? You want him to I give them that. Naira? <laughs> you want less Naira? The man is clueless, but there's a limit. He knows that he can People will throw Naira back at him. Oh, <laughs> Nonsense. My men will kill in self-defense, says mm. Mbo. You know, you know that guy, commissioner for police? Whoa, that what? controversial guy. Yeah. Me? He said he will kill in self this, In no, fact, he said, he said if you kill one, they will kill 20. Hey. Wow. But, but this is an improvement because <laughs> They used to they used to kill for twenty naira. Now now for self defense it's an improvement. Wow. Obasanjo visits Ebola hit countries. Aww. Seek support for them. Yeah, oh I know, God. I know. Yeah, Fa final, finally, he figured he figured out that Nigerian Ebola is safer than Nigerian politics. Hey. He said, I rather I rather play with Ebola than Nigerian politics. <laughs> <Ebola is> <laughs> 
We are not politicians. Stop inviting us to impromptu meetings, says uh, the Oba of uh, Oba, Lagos Oba. They were talking to Jenny. Oh, but they, 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 they said, that, let that uh, Ghana must go back. Keep it coming. <laughs> keep it, we, we want that oh, one. Keep silent, that one coming. Right? Yeah, <laughs> silent. Keep that one coming. Yeah, silent. Keep that one coming. Now for the audience. Christian governor will imagine Nasarawa says Labram. You know him, the, mm. the big mouth. Yeah, the <laughs> former minister. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, the, the question I have for Maku, 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 listen to me. When, when are we going to have Christian electricity, Christian water, I Christian know. road? <laughs> eh? When is that going to happen? Christian road. Yeah. Soon. Nonsense. Soon. Nonsense. Why I dropped Buhari for Jonathan says uh, Odumaken. Mm. Yeah. You know he used to be a friend of Sahara TV. Yeah. But when he started talking like this, we just did like this. <laughs> mama, mama, we, we know the reason, eh? Money, money. Jonathan gives you Ghana must go back. Yes, yes. But, but only speaking. Buhari will only pat you at the back and say, Good job, my man. <laughs> that's why. That's why. We understand. Just be plain. Tell us why. Economy we understand. You have to eat. You know, Economy for pockets. You gotta chop, yeah. <laughs> that's a good question. Naira hits 222. Naira to one dollar. Yeah, black market, black market. No, this, get a pen, get a pen and write this down. By the time, by the time his luggage gets to Otoke, Naira will be three hundred to three hundred to one dollar. Stay here, stay. Just, just, Chai, there is God. Oh my God. Trouble. There is God. Elections. Elections. Christian Association of Nigeria denies 7 billion naira bribe. Now, 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 they say that PDP just paid his tithe. Right? <laughs> and that people are confusing tithes with offerings. <laughs> My thing is this if they, if they actually got that money, that are your Orisa Jaffa's plan, we not still be doing Kabuka. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> PDP's victory. We free Lagosians from oppression, says yeah. President Jonathan. Yeah. For, for the first time, I agree with him for the first time. Yeah. But the same way, APC victory in Abuja will free Abuja from ochrykitis. <laughs> the the anotokitis. <laughs> Those diseases, you know. <laughs> Boko Haram story will change in two weeks, says President Good Lord Jonathan. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he, he has yeah. a he has a plan. Yeah. To six My years. thing is that in whatever he says, in four weeks we are going to forgive him and show him the way to two okay. <laughs> whatever happens, show him the way to forgive the and forget and show him the way <laughs> to the creeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your email. email. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for your email. Time for your email. Our first email is from Davison Idehen in Netherlands. He writes, Dear Dr. Damages, thank you for the good work. Buhari is coming and they are shaking. Good luck is afraid to go to prison. But they judge want to run to Somalia. My fear is which stadium is Buhari going to use as prison? Please, not the new stadium in Uo State. Because our politicians like better things. Please, when the time come, tell Buhari that I have big land in my village for a big prison so I can visit Jonathan and ask him how many pair of shoes he was able to get because he entered Asso Rock with beer foot. That's all for now. Tomato Joy, Maggie and Onion say they are greeting you. Hey! I like that. I like that. My friend, my friend, I know, I know that new stadium in Atua Uyo. Mm -hmm. uh, it is cool, mm -hmm. but but let me tell you, one year from now, when you go there, you'll be shocked mm -hmm. because they won't maintain it. You mm -hmm. can be sure of that. Yes. But I like you. I applaud your your willingness to give your own land so that Buhari can build prison. <laughs> you know, this is what I'm talking about. People putting their money where their mouth Why is. Why not? Eh? Not ah. all these people here. Blah, 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 blah. When they <sighs> come for protests, they won't protest. They won't bring money, nothing. Bring land so that they will bring nothing. Next. <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> Next. Our second email is from Onude Musa Adeyemi. He writes, Hi, Dr. Damages. I must say, I'm a huge fan of your show. I would like you to diagnose those Nigerian celebrities in GEJ payroll. Mm-hmm. 
To me, I think after they made their pockets fatter, the corruption virus of GJ is giving them some mental sickness, so. And also, please don't forget to diagnose Fanny Kaede and Fayoshe. I think they are sick also. And they are sick of being obsessed with GMB. Yo. Thanks. Oh, my man, thank you so much. You, you noticed that today we started a new segment on our show. Mm -hmm. Because these guys are very important. Mm -hmm. So we started a segment we call Man Men and Specialists. Why not? That's what they are. Ah. And knowing that they will disappear after May 29th. <laughs> We want to document things that we, they will need so hmm. that they won't have any problem putting them history. We put them in the junkyard, hmm. you know? That's what we're doing. Hmm. So I'm with you. Next. <laughs> Our third email is from Emeka in Germany. Hmm. He writes, I know, you know, I used to be live in Germany. Hmm. You? Yeah, I know Dusseldorf. Germany? Yeah, I can speak a few lines there, you know? So, so say, um, um, I'm hungry. Yeah? Because Me. that's how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> Me, bro. I don't believe you. I'll check it later. Check it. But Google it. <laughs> he said, Hi, Doctor. My first time writing you. Well done so far on your weekly show. Oh. But, Doctor, ah. you are suddenly of late becoming one-sided on the issues you air. Ah. You don't talk much of Buhari. Please, is he the perfect one for change in our country? Or you don't know much about him? Is that what it is? Don't he have some mistakes on his part? Please, don't be one-sided, as it's oh. not the way forward. Oh. Keep up the good work and keep fit. Thank you for this email, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You know, hmm. you are not alone with this concern. People good write point, me and say, oh, Emeka. that we are bought by APC, mm -hmm. that we are one-sided. You see, mm -hmm. Buhari is far from being perfect. Hmm. In fact, we are on his case. Hmm. But as you can see, he hardly talks more than five minutes. <laughs> So uh, that is that, that is the problem, you know. You have to have him talk so that you know what he said, mm. and it helps that you know he has this wife that is beautiful, and that doesn't make <laughs> she doesn't make mockery of herself like mm. like the other woman. Mm. And by the way, have you seen her, his daughter? Wow, hey. beauty! Ooh, la, la. What Ooh, a la, la. beauty! You see, you see, hey. When you see her, you forget all the bad things that Buhari did in the Why past. Not? Even ah. Fanny Kayode, you know that Fanny. She, he wrote her a letter, and when she didn't respond, that was why Fanny went mad. <laughs> so we, we are, we are tri it's trying okay. to find a way to deal with this Buhari thing. But we have to keep our show going. <laughs> you know? Next. Okay, our fourth email is from Abba Umar in Lagos. Mm -hmm. He writes. I know him. I know him. You? Mm -hmm. We used to live on our Jalaba Avenue. Go ahead. Really? Mm -hmm. Hmm. That reminds me of Whiskey. You know his song, Ajima. Aha, that's that's. You know my story. <laughs> that's so true. Your... That's different from Ajima Lava, but. Eh. Uh, let's keep going. Are keep you going. sure? Yeah, keep going. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I watched Adiola for the first time and found her funnier than you. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. The, man, the man has finished me. Hey, <laughs> you're the done. Man, the man has finished me. Let, let me get, let him he talk. said, but he lied. He said, I lied after watching your uh -huh. video inside your office in the villa with the goat head. Uh -huh. I almost cried. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said, well, my message to Nigerians, mostly the youth, 2015 will be a history for us if we are alive. We will tell our children and grandchildren the drama of democracy by then, because I know after this election, Nigeria will not have a great history like this coming election. <laughs> Imagine Obasanjo tearing up PDP, his membership card publicly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Regards to Tomato Cutie. I know she's cute, and I've seen her back in the last show. Oh. What back have you seen? <laughs> you haven't seen anything. <laughs> 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 Is that it? Look, my man, my man, thank you, it. thank you, my friend. Eh? Just for the record, I think Adiola is funnier than me. Eh? I cannot, for the life of me, do hey. that dance. You know that dance yeah. she does? <laughs> 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 I, I can't do that. You know, so, so, so. But let me tell you, young people, let me tell you, young people, what's up, my people? It's a girl and keeping it right in here. Let me tell you, let me tell you, my people, my people. Listen, listen, young people, hmm. the history that is important. It's not the history that all those old people made. Hmm. The history that matters hmm. is the one that you young people are making. Hmm. Remember that. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That Next. Next. That was deep. Yeah. Our fifth hmm. email is from James Sunday in Elori Quara State. <clears throat> Excuse me. Doctor, this is my first email. Wow. Another first. I know that by the time you will be reading this message, you might have heard that MTA 
is now or has now been changed to GEJ TV. Mm. Jonathan campaign television. <laughs> I think I think I know why the election was postponed. Oh. You hardly watch the national TV. Sorry, I mean um, Jonathan campaign television. <laughs> for 20 minutes before an advert coming up. Either the real Jesus endorsing Otuekwe Jesus <laughs> or clip showing how Buhari was the cause of 2011 post-election violence in northern Nigeria. Mm. The funniest of it all is that these clips are said to be sponsored by one election fairness initiative organization. I continue to wonder if truly the groups are fair or fed by, goat, by the goat owner or mm. the yam farmer. Oh, really? Thank you for the wonderful job you have been doing. May God bless you both oh. and save you from the hands of Obanikoro and Ko. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Thank you, Sunday. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amongst all the institutions in Nigeria, the hmm. most deplorable one hmm. is the NTA. Hmm. Hmm. In the last 30 years, I doubt if there have been any single improvement hmm. in the quality of their TV production. Wow. Yeah? Each time I see their broadcast, I cover my face in shame. <laughs> Imagine the billions of Naira that is wasted there every year. Mm. If Sahara TV has 100 of that resources at NTA, uh -huh. all of Africa will know. Hey! They will know. Hey! <laughs> Next! <laughs> Bring it! <laughs> okay, our sixth email is from Mohamed Malufashi in Zaria, Nigeria. He writes, That uh, damages. How is New York? Oh, right. I watched one of your special edition show on that goat and yam. Mm. I saw you drinking something from a bottle. My question to you is, which drink is that? Again, you forget to mention that Jonathan has a PhD. You mm. only mention his masters. Mm. Now, what are you trying to say? I would also like to see your certificates. Ah. Where did you get your MBBS degree from? Mm. Ah. Lastly, when are you having a show on um, Femi Fanny Coyote? Ah. Thank you, Doctor. This man, this man, this man. Are you questioning, <laughs> are you questioning Dr. Goodlaw Jonathan's Why certificate? Why not? Mm. Eh? Mind yourself, oh. <laughs> Mind yourself. Don't let the man line up PhD students he supervised and mm. show you. Mm. By the way, do we know anybody he supervised for PhD? Anyway, talking about the drink oh, yeah. in that bottle, eh? it was Kunu. I was drinking Kunu. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> kunu, Kunu. Hmm. And were you questioning my Go and get go and get him my, my certificate from John Hopkins University. Mm. I'll get that this, is where doctor. that is where I had my degree. Mm. Nonsense. Next. Nonsense. Mm. Ah, our final email is from Aisha. She oh. writes. The new bride. Hey, hey, hey. I know, I know. Let I me got, give you I got time the hint. So you I got can the compose hint. yourself. Is is my Aisha is back? Read the email. Aisha is back. Are you, are you okay? I'm okay. Are you sure you're okay? I'm Your okay. temperature is okay? No, 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 no. I'm okay. I have my oh, prescription. Oh, okay. This is to announce the arrival of another Aisha uh -uh. who fell in love with Seth Tomato Doctor. <laughs> Hoping to meet you soon. Uh, Many love, Aisha. Oh, <laughs> tickle me, tickle me, tickle me. <laughs> Take me, take my soul. You see, I told you, when one Aisha is gone, another one emerges. Mm. Yeah, this one got married and left for Kano. Another Aisha is here. Yeah. Who said there is no God? Chai. There is God. There is God. I'll pray, God. For, you. I'll pray uh, we, for you. Aisha, we talk off, 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 off camera. Off mm. camera. We talk. I told you, hmm. you were laughing. Let the All you Aisha people laughing you. that. No, Aisha's married now. The all the people Aisha laughing that Aisha, another Aisha is here. Hmm. Who am I? Now, Man. that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book, Wherefore Rejoice, hmm. by Francis of Assisi. Hmm. Wow. Ah, yeah, and, and, and he said, Start by doing what is necessary. Hmm then do what is possible. Hmm. Mm. And suddenly, you are doing the impossible. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I go far to get you guys. That was a good one. Go far. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose... You heal yourself! <laughs>